Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video I just wanted to give you my first look at one of the coolest gadgets of CES 2018, the Volocopter 2X, a giant flying passenger drone that was shown off by Intel. Now this could be one of the very first passenger carrying drones in the US, and it's coming to market sooner than you might think, but there are a couple of things you should know. The 2X is designed to speed up existing trips that have been made horrible by traffic, not to allow really long trips, or to outrace a car that isn't trapped in a sea of brake lights. It's only got a maximum range of 17 miles, and a maximum flight time of 27 minutes, so it's not going to be curing commutes that start in the suburbs and end in the centre of the city. It's also only got a cruise speed of 43 miles per hour and a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour, so that's really not that much faster than a car or train free of delays. A spokesman for the Volcopter said that they're really hoping that rides will cost about the same price as an Uber Black, with a commercial service hoped for in about 5 years. Intel plans to operate Volcopter 2Xs as a service, instead of selling the aircraft to other operators. The 2X is seats for 2, and and it's actually pretty comfortable, they're pretty padded, and they don't have seat belts right now, but there's more than enough legroom and pretty little cargo space. You can put a backpack or something small on the floor behind a small instrument panel, but there is no room behind the seats. Now as far as safety goes, Volcopter is really emphasizing that this is an extremely safe device, the 18 rotors provide some of that safety, and Volcopter also includes a backup parachute to slow the entire airframe to a safe landing, the same type of safety system that Cirrus Light Aircraft offers. The Intel flight control technology inside combining sensors and processors to keep the drone in its intended flight path is also part of the picture. One thing I should mention is that Volocopter actually is reasonably well along in its development. The aircraft's first manned flight happened back in spring of 2016, and Intel's already been working with the Federal Aviation Administration to secure a license for outdoor flight tests in the US. Integrating passenger carrying drones into the air system is a complex task, and that could be a slight hindrance for Intel, but at the same time, Intel's really determined to get this to market, and it could be a really cool experience pulling out your phone, opening up a transportation app, and then summoning your own personal ride by air taxi. In many ways, the Volocopter is the embodiment of future public transportation. It almost reminds me of like a Star Wars Coruscant type world, where everyone just goes around in the air rather than on the ground. But with that said, give me your opinions on the Volocopter in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're as excited about this as I am. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And with that said, I will see you next time.